Bonjour, friends, and happy French Friday to you. Okay, this furniture flip project that I will be working on today is this desk that I found at a garage sale for $30. And it's been sitting in our garage, and most of you probably know, unless you're new to my channel, that we have been working on decluttering our home and just cleaning out and packing up and selling things and uh, working on getting our home for sale. So our home is for sale with our realtor now and we need to get this project out of our garage. So I'm going to be working on this today and I will be using this crud cutter and it just is a wonderful product to take the gloss off so if you have a shiny piece of furniture that you don't want to make a big mess sanding inside your home you can use this um, crud cutter will take off the shine and that gloss. It's a paint prep that you want to use um, on your furniture pieces that do have a real shiny finish to them like this desk. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe down uh, the whole desk before I get started painting with this product. I've already removed the brass handles from the two drawer fronts and I'm ready to wipe everything down now. We are supposed to get some rain here today in southern Louisiana, so I'm going to go ahead and get these handles uh, spray painted before the rain comes. And I will be spray painting them both in a flat black spray paint. So here's the black spray paint that I'll be using today and I also will be using this spray paint handle. It makes spray painting so much easier. So let's get started. Okay on the desk I'll be using the Sharon Williams Super Paint Paint and Primer in One in the extra white color. It actually looks more cream color than white to me. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and use this because this is paint that I had left over from some other projects. And I had quite a bit left over. So I'm going to go ahead and use it for this project as well. Okay, so here's the desk after the first coat. It definitely needs another coat, so I'm going to go ahead and get the second coat on.
Okay, next I want to use this French newsprint tissue paper that I've had in my tissue paper and wrapping paper stash. So I'm going to go ahead and take a sheet out so that I can get started trying this out on the front of the drawers here. I am tracing it out with my pencil and also making a crease with my hands here um, so that I can trace it and see where the uh, drawer front uh, needs to be traced out here. And then I'm going to cut it out and be ready to Mod Podge this on the front of the two drawers. I'm also doing a layer of Mod Podge on the top to seal it and protect it. Okay, now that it's all dry, I'm ready to put my hardware back on the front of the two drawers here. Here it is all completed. I'm very happy with how it turned out. It is ready to list for sale on Facebook Marketplace. Okay, thank you so much for joining me today. And if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you can be notified each and every time that I upload a new video. All right, I would appreciate that so much. Okay, friends, uh, I will see you next French Friday. Until then, au revoir.